Absolute magnitude m is a measure of the luminosity of a celestial object, on an inverse logarithmic astronomical magnitude scale. An object's absolute magnitude is defined to be equal to the apparent magnitude that the object would have if it were viewed from a distance of exactly 10.0 parsecs .6 light -years, without extinction or dimming of its light due to absorption by interstellar matter and cosmic dust. By hypothetically placing all objects at a standard reference distance from the observer, their luminosities can be directly compared on a magnitude scale. As with all astronomical magnitudes, the absolute magnitude can be specified for different wavelength ranges corresponding to specified filter bands or pass bands. For stars, a commonly quoted absolute magnitude is the absolute visual magnitude, which uses the visual v band of the spectrum in the UBV photometric system. Absolute magnitudes are denoted by a capital M, with a subscript representing the filter band used for measurement, such as MV for absolute magnitude in the V band. The more luminous an object, the smaller the numerical value of its absolute magnitude. A difference of five magnitudes between the absolute magnitudes of two objects corresponds to a ratio of 100 in their luminosities, and a difference of n magnitudes in absolute magnitude corresponds to a luminosity ratio of 100 n, 5. For example, a star of absolute magnitude mv equals 3.0 would be 100 times more luminous than a star of absolute magnitude mv equals 8.0 as measured in the V filter band. The Sun has absolute magnitude mv equals plus 4.83. Highly luminous objects can have negative absolute magnitudes, for example, the Milky Way galaxy has an absolute B magnitude of about 20.8. An object's absolute bolometric magnitude MBOL represents its total luminosity over all wavelengths, rather than in a single filter band, as expressed on a logarithmic magnitude scale. To convert from an absolute magnitude in a specific filter band to absolute bolometric magnitude, a bolometric correction BC is applied. For solar system bodies that shine in reflected light, a different definition of absolute magnitude H is used, based on a standard reference distance of one astronomical unit. Stars and galaxies In stellar and galactic astronomy, the standard distance is 10 parsecs about 32.616 light-years, 308.57 peter meters or 308.57 trillion kilometers. A star at 10 parsecs has a parallax of 0 0.1 100 milliseconds. Galaxies and other extended objects are much larger than 10 parsecs, their light is radiated over an extended patch of sky, and their overall brightness cannot be directly observed from relatively short distances, but the same convention is used. A galaxy's magnitude is defined by measuring all the light radiated over the entire object, treating that integrated brightness as the brightness of a single point-like or star-like source, and computing the magnitude of that point-like source as it would appear if observed at the standard 10 parsecs distance. Consequently, the absolute magnitude of any object equals the apparent magnitude it would have if it were 10 parsecs away. The measurement of absolute magnitude is made with an instrument called a bolometer. When using an absolute magnitude, one must specify the type of electromagnetic radiation being measured. When referring to total energy output, the proper term is bolometric magnitude. The bolometric magnitude usually is computed from the visual magnitude plus a bolometric correction, MBOL equals MV plus BC. This correction is needed because very hot stars radiate mostly ultraviolet radiation, whereas very cool stars radiate mostly infrared radiation see Planck's law. 
Some stars visible to the naked eye have such a low absolute magnitude that they would appear bright enough to outshine the planets and cast shadows if they were at 10 parsecs from the Earth. Examples include Rigel minus 7.0, Deneb minus 7.2, Naus minus 6.0, and Betelgeuse minus 5.6. For comparison, Sirius has an absolute magnitude of 1.4, which is brighter than the Sun, whose absolute visual magnitude is 4.83 it actually serves as a reference point. The Sun's absolute bolometric magnitude is set arbitrarily, usually at 4.75. Absolute magnitudes of stars generally range from minus 10 to plus 1.7. The absolute magnitudes of galaxies can be much lower, brighter. For example, the giant elliptical galaxy M87 has an absolute magnitude of -22, i.e. as bright as about 60,000 stars of magnitude -10. Topic: Apparent magnitude The Greek astronomer Hipparchus established a numerical scale to describe the brightness of each star appearing in the sky. The brightest stars in the sky were assigned an apparent magnitude m. Topic 1 and the dimmest stars visible to the naked eye are assigned m. 6 the difference between them corresponds to a factor of 100 in brightness. For objects within the immediate neighborhood of the Sun, the absolute magnitude m and apparent magnitude m from any distance d in parsecs is related by 100 m minus m 5 equals f 10 f equals d 10 p c 2 display style 100 caret frac mm 5 equals frac f underscore 10 f equals left frac d 10 mathrm p c right caret 2 where f is the radiant flux measured at distance d in parsecs, f10 the radiant flux measured at distance 10%. The relation can be written in terms of logarithm m equals m minus 5 log 10 d pc plus Five display style m equals m five log underscore ten d underscore text pc plus five, where the insignificance of extinction by gas and dust is assumed. Typical extinction rates within the galaxy are one to two magnitudes per kiloparsec. When dark clouds are taken into account for objects at very large distances outside the Milky Way, the luminosity distance (dl) distance defined using luminosity measurements must be used instead of d in parsecs because the Euclidean approximation is invalid for distant objects and general relativity must be taken into account. Moreover, the cosmological redshift complicates the relation between absolute and apparent magnitude, because the radiation observed was shifted into the red range of the spectrum. To compare the magnitudes of very distant objects with those of local objects, a k-correction might have to be applied to the magnitudes of the distant objects. The absolute magnitude m can also be approximated using apparent magnitude m and stellar parallax p m equals m plus 5 log 10 p plus 1 Display style m equals m plus five left log underscore ten p plus one right, or using apparent magnitude m and distance modulus mu 
m equals m minus mu display style m equals m mu topic examples Rigel has a visual magnitude MV of 0.12 and distance about 860 light years. M V equals 0.12 minus 5 log 10 860 3.2616 minus one equals minus seven point zero. Display style m underscore mathrm v equals zero point one two to five left log underscore ten frac eight hundred and sixty three point two six one six minus one right equals minus seven point zero. Vega has a parallax p of 0.129 and an apparent magnitude mv of 0.03. M v equals 0.03 plus 5 log 10 0.129 plus 1 equals plus 0 0.6 display style m underscore mathrm v equals 0 0.03 plus 5 left log underscore 10 0 0.129 plus 1 right equals plus 0 0.6 the Black Eye Galaxy has a visual magnitude MV of 9.36 and a distance modulus mu of 31.06 m v equals 9.36 minus 31.06 equals minus 21.7 Display style m underscore mathrm v equals 9.36 to 31.06 equals minus 21.7. Topic: Bolometric magnitude. The bolometric magnitude MBOL takes into account electromagnetic radiation at all wavelengths. It includes those unobserved due to instrumental passband, the Earth's atmospheric absorption, and extinction by interstellar dust. It is defined based on the luminosity of the stars. In the case of stars with few observations, it must be computed assuming an effective temperature. Classically, the difference in bolometric magnitude is related to the luminosity ratio according to m B O L minus M B O L equals minus two point five log ten L L Display style M underscore mathrm bowl star M underscore mathrm bowl a dot equals minus two point five log underscore ten left frac L underscore star L underscore a dot right which makes by inversion L L equals ten zero four M B O L minus M B O L display style frac L underscore star L underscore a dot equals ten carat zero point four left M underscore mathrm bowl a dot M underscore mathrm bowl star right where L is the sun's luminosity, bolometric luminosity 
L is the star's luminosity, bolometric luminosity. MBOL is the bolometric magnitude of the sun. MBOL is the bolometric magnitude of the star. In August 2015, the International Astronomical Union passed Resolution B2 defining the zero points of the absolute and apparent bolometric magnitude scales in SI units for power watts and irradiance with M2 respectively. Although bolometric magnitudes had been used by astronomers for many decades, there had been systematic differences in the absolute magnitude luminosity scales presented in various astronomical references, and no international standardization. This led to systematic differences in bolometric corrections scales. Combined with incorrect assumed absolute bolometric magnitudes for the Sun could lead to systematic errors in estimated stellar luminosities and stellar properties calculated which rely on stellar luminosity, such as radii, ages, and so on. Resolution B2 defines an absolute bolometric magnitude scale where MBOL Zero corresponds to luminosity L0 3.0128 times 1028 W, with the zero point luminosity L0 set such that the Sun with nominal luminosity 3. 828 times 1026 W corresponds to absolute bolometric magnitude MBOL. Equals 4.74 placing a radiation source e.g. star at the standard distance of 10 parsecs it follows that the zero point of the apparent bolometric magnitude scale mbol equals 0 corresponds to a radiance f0 topic 2.5180210002 times 10 minus 8 with m2 Using the IAU 2015 scale, the nominal total solar irradiance solar constant measured at one astronomical unit 1361 with M2 corresponds to an apparent bolometric magnitude of the sun of MBOL -2.5180210 -26.832 Following resolution B2, the relation between a star's absolute bolometric magnitude and its luminosity is no longer directly tied to the sun's variable luminosity. M B O L equals minus 2.5 log 10 L L zero approximately equals minus two point five log ten L plus seventy one point one nine seven four two five Display style M underscore mathram ball equals minus two point five log underscore ten frac L underscore star L underscore zero approximately minus two point five log underscore ten L underscore star plus seventy one point one nine seven four two five where L is the star's luminosity, bolometric luminosity in watts. L0 is the zero point luminosity 3.0128 times 1028 W. MBOL is the bolometric magnitude of the Starth new IEU absolute magnitude scale, permanently disconnects the scale from the variable Sun. However, on this SI power scale, the nominal solar luminosity corresponds closely to MBOL equals 4.74, a value that was commonly adopted by astronomers before the 2015 IAU resolution. The luminosity of the star in watts can be calculated as a function of its absolute bolometric magnitude MBOL as L equals L zero. 10 minus 
0.4 m b o l display style l underscore star equals l underscore 0 10 carat minus 0.4 m underscore mathrm bol using the variables as defined previously. Topic: Solar system bodies H. For planets and asteroids a definition of absolute magnitude that is more meaningful for non-stellar objects is used. The absolute magnitude, commonly called h, h is defined as the apparent magnitude that the object would have if it were one astronomical unit o from both the Sun and the observer, and in conditions of ideal solar opposition an arrangement that is impossible in practice. Solar system bodies are illuminated by the Sun, therefore the magnitude varies as a function of illumination conditions, described by the phase angle. This relationship is referred to as the phase curve. The absolute magnitude is the brightness at phase angle zero, an arrangement known as opposition. Topic: <laughs> Apparent magnitude. The absolute magnitude h display style h can be used to calculate the apparent magnitude m display style m of a body for an object reflecting sunlight h display style h and m display style m are connected by the relation m equals h plus 5 log 10 D B S D B O D zero two minus two point five log ten Q alpha Display style m equals h plus five log underscore ten left frac d underscore b s d underscore bo d underscore zero carrot two right minus two point five log underscore ten q alpha where alpha display style alpha is the phase angle, the angle between the body sun and body observer lines q alpha display style q alpha is the phase integral the integration of reflected light a number in the 0 to 1 range by the law of cosines we have cos alpha equals d b o 2 plus d b S two minus D O S two two D B O D B S Display style cos alpha equals frac d underscore mathrm bo carrot two plus d underscore mathrm bs carrot two d underscore mathrm os carrot two two d underscore mathrm bo d underscore mathrm bs distances dbo is the distance between the body and the observer. DBS is the distance between the body and the sun. DOS is the distance between the observer and the sun. D0 is one astronomical unit, the average distance between the Earth and the sun. Topic: 
Approximations for phase integral Q alpha display style Q alpha the value of Q alpha display style Q alpha depends on the properties of the reflecting surface in particular on its roughness in practice, different approximations are used based on the known or assumed properties of the surface. Topic: <laughs> Planets. Planetary bodies can be approximated reasonably well as ideal diffuse reflecting spheres. Let alpha display style alpha be the phase angle in degrees then q alpha equals 2 3 1 minus alpha 180 cos alpha plus 1 pi sin alpha Display style q alpha equals frac two three left left one frac alpha one hundred and eighty carat circ right cos alpha plus frac one pi sin alpha right. A full phase diffuse sphere reflects two thirds as much light as a diffuse flat disk of the same diameter. A quarter phase alpha equals ninety. Display style alpha equals ninety carat circ has one pi display style frac one pi as much light as full phase alpha equals zero display style alpha equals zero carat circ. For contrast, a diffuse disk reflector model is simply Q alpha equals cos alpha display style Q alpha equals cos alpha, which isn't realistic, but it does represent the opposition surge for rough surfaces that reflect more uniform light back at low phase angles. The definition of the geometric albedo p display style p a measure for the reflectivity of planetary surfaces is based on the diffuse disk reflector model the absolute magnitude h display style h diameter d display style d in kilometers and geometric albedo p display style p of a body are related by d equals 1329 p times 10 minus 0 0.2 h Display style d equals frac 1329 sqrt p times 10 carat minus 0.2 h kilometer example the moon's absolute magnitude h display style h can be calculated from its diameter d equals 3474 kilometer display style d equals 3474 text kilometer and geometric albedo p equals 0 0.113 display style p equals 0 113 h equals 5 log 10 1329 3474 0.113 equals 
plus 0 0.28 Display style h equals 5 log underscore 10 frac 1329 3474 sqrt 0 0.113 equals plus 0 0.28. We have d b s equals 1 o Display style D underscore BS equals one text O D B O equals three hundred and eighty four thousand four hundred kilometer equals zero point oh oh two five seven O Display style D underscore bow equals three hundred and eighty four thousand four hundred text kilometer equals zero point oh oh two five seven text O at quarter phase Q alpha approximately equals two three pi Display style Q alpha approximately frac two three pi According to the diffuse reflector model, this yields an apparent magnitude of m equals plus 0 0.28 plus 5 log 10 1 0 00257 minus 2.5 log 10 2 3 pi equals minus 10.99 Display style m equals plus 0 0.28 plus 5 log underscore 10 left 1 c d o t 0 0.00257 right minus 2.5 log underscore 10 left frac 2 3 pi right equals minus 10.99. The actual value is somewhat lower than that. M equals minus 10.0 display style m equals minus 10.0 the phase curve of the moon is too complicated for the diffuse reflector model topic more advanced models Because solar system bodies are never perfect diffuse reflectors, astronomers use different models to predict apparent magnitudes based on known or assumed properties of the body. For planets, approximations for the correction term minus 2.5 log 10 q alpha Display style minus 2.5 log underscore 10 q alpha in the formula for m have been derived empirically to match observations at different phase angles. The approximations recommended by the astronomical almanac are with alpha display style alpha in degrees here beta display style beta is the effective inclination of saturn's rings their tilt relative to the observer which as seen from earth varies between 0 degrees and 27 degrees over the course of one saturn orbit and phi display style phi is a small correction term depending on uranus's sub-earth and sub-solar latitudes t Display style T is the common era year. Neptune's absolute magnitude is changing slowly due to seasonal effects as the planet moves along its 165 year orbit around the Sun, and the approximation above is only valid after the year 2000. For some circumstances, like Alpha 179. 
Display style alpha GEQ one hundred and seventy nine carat circ. For Venus, no observations are available, and the phase curve is unknown in those cases. Example: On the first of January twenty nineteen, Venus was d b s equals zero point seven one nine o. Display style d underscore b s equals zero. 719 text o from the sun and d b o equals 0.645 o display style d underscore o equals 0.645 text o from earth at a phase angle of alpha equals 93.0 display style alpha equals 93.0 carat circ near quarter phase under full phase conditions venus would have been visible at m equals minus 4.384 plus 5 log 10 Zero point seven one nine zero point six four five equals minus six point oh nine Display style M equals minus four point three eight four plus five log underscore ten left zero point seven one nine C D O T zero point six four five right equals minus six point oh nine Accounting for the high phase angle, the correction term above yields an actual apparent magnitude of m equals minus 6.09 plus minus 1.044 times 10 minus 3 93.0 plus 3.687 times 10 minus 4 93 0 2 minus 2.814 times 10 minus 6 93.0 3 plus 8.938 times 10 minus 9 93.0 4 equals minus 4.59 Display style M equals minus six point oh nine plus left minus one point oh four four times ten carat minus three C D O T ninety three point oh plus three point six eight seven times ten carat minus four C D O T ninety three point oh carat two minus two point eight one four times ten carat minus six C D O T ninety three point oh carat three plus eight point nine three eight times ten Ten carat minus nine C D O T ninety three point O carat four right equals minus four point five nine. This is close to the value of M equals minus four point six two. Display style M equals minus four point six two. Predicted by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Earth's albedo varies by a factor of 6, from 0.12 in the cloud-free case to 0.76 in the case of Altostratus cloud. The absolute magnitude here corresponds to an albedo of 0.434. Earth's apparent magnitude cannot be predicted as accurately as that of most other planets. Topic: Asteroids. 
If an object has an atmosphere, it reflects light more or less isotropically in all directions, and its brightness can be modeled as a diffuse reflector. Atmosphereless bodies, like asteroids or moons, tend to reflect light more strongly to the direction of the incident light, and their brightness increases rapidly as the phase angle approaches 0 0 0 This rapid brightening near opposition is called the opposition effect. Its strength depends on the physical properties of the body's surface, and hence it differs from asteroid to asteroid. In 1985, the IAU adopted the semi empirical H G system, based on two parameters H and G display style G called absolute magnitude and slope to model the opposition effect for the ephemerides published by the minor planet center M equals H plus 5 log 10 D B s D B O D zero two minus two point five log ten Q alpha Display style M equals H plus five log underscore ten left frac D underscore BS D underscore Bo D underscore zero carrot two right minus two 5 log underscore 10 Q alpha where the phase integral is Q alpha equals 1 minus G Phi 1 alpha plus G Phi 2 Alpha Display style Q alpha equals left one G right Phi underscore one left alpha right plus G Phi underscore two left alpha right and Phi I alpha equals EXP minus A I tan alpha 2 b i display style phi underscore i left alpha right equals exp left a underscore i left tan frac alpha 2 right caret b underscore i right for i equals 1 display style i equals 1 or 2 display style 2 a 1 equals 3.332 display style a underscore 1 equals 3.332 a 2 equals 1.862 display style a underscore 2 equals 1.862 b 1 equals 0.631 display style b underscore 1 equals 0.631 and B2 equals 1.218 display style B underscore 2 equals 1.218 this relation is valid for phase angles alpha 120 display style alpha and works best when alpha 20 display style alpha the slope parameter G display style G relates to the surge in brightness typically 0.3 mag when the object is near opposition it is known accurately only for a small number of asteroids, hence for most asteroids a value of G equals 0.15 display style G equals 0.15 is assumed. In rare cases G display style G can be negative. An example is 101955 Bennu with G equals minus 0 0.08 
Display style G equals minus zero point oh eight. In twenty twelve, the H G display style H G system was officially replaced by an improved system with three parameters H display style H G one display style G underscore one and G two display style G underscore two which produces more satisfactory results if the opposition effect is very small or restricted to very small phase angles. However, as of 2019, this H G 1 G 2 display style H G underscore 1 G underscore 2 system has not been adopted by either the Minor Planet Center nor Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The apparent magnitude of asteroids varies as they rotate, on time scales of seconds to weeks depending on their rotation period, by up to 2 mag or more. In addition, their absolute magnitude can vary with the viewing direction, depending on their axial tilt. In many cases, neither the rotation period nor the axial tilt are known, limiting the predictability. The models presented here do not capture those effects. <laughs> Cometary magnitudes The brightness of comets is given separately as total magnitude m 1 display style m underscore 1 the brightness integrated over the entire visible extent of the coma and nuclear magnitude m 2 display style m underscore 2 the brightness of the core region alone both are different scales than the magnitude scale used for planets and asteroids, and cannot be used for a size comparison with an asteroid's absolute magnitude h. The activity of comets varies with their distance from the Sun. Their brightness can be approximated as m 1 equals m 1 plus 2.5 k 1 log 10 d b s d 0 plus 5 log 10 d b o d Zero display style m underscore one equals m underscore one plus two five c d o t k underscore one log underscore ten left frac d underscore b s d underscore zero right plus five log underscore ten left frac d underscore bow d underscore zero right m two equals M two plus two point five K two log ten D B S D zero plus five log ten D B O D zero display style m underscore two equals m underscore two plus two five c d o t k underscore two log underscore ten left frac d underscore b s d underscore zero right plus five log underscore ten left frac d underscore bo d underscore zero right where m 
one two Display style M underscore one two are the total and nuclear apparent magnitudes of the comet, respectively M one two Display style M underscore one two are its absolute total and nuclear magnitudes D B S Display style D underscore B S and D B O Display style D underscore Bo are the body sun and body observer distances D zero Display style D underscore zero is the astronomical unit and K one Two display style k underscore one two are the slope parameters characterizing the comet's activity. For k equals two display style k equals two, this reduces to the formula for a purely reflecting body. For example, the light curve of comet C 2011 L4 PANSTARRS can be approximated by m 1 equals 5 41 k 1 equals 3.69 Display style M underscore one equals five point four one text K underscore one equals three point six nine on the day of its perihelion passage, the tenth of March twenty thirteen, comet PANSTARRS was zero point three oh two O Display style zero point three oh two text O from the Sun and 1.1090 O display style 1.109 text O from Earth. The total apparent magnitude m 1 display style m underscore 1 is predicted to have been m 1 equals 5.41 plus 2.5 3.69 log 10 0 0.302 plus 5 log 10 1.109 equals plus 0 0.8 Display style M underscore one equals five point four one plus two point five CDO T three point six nine CDO T log underscore ten left zero point three oh two right plus five log underscore ten left one point one oh nine right equals plus zero point eight at that time. The minor planet center gives a value close to that M one equals plus zero point five display style M underscore one equals plus zero point five. At the same distance, Comet Hale Bop is about one hundred and thirty times brighter than Comet Halley. The absolute magnitude of any given comet can vary dramatically. It can change as the comet becomes more or less active over time, or if it undergoes an outburst. This makes it difficult to use the absolute magnitude for a size estimate. When Comet 289P, Blanpain was discovered in 1819, its absolute magnitude was estimated as m 1 equals 8.5 Display style m underscore one equals eight point five. It was subsequently lost and was only rediscovered in two thousand and three. At that time, its absolute magnitude had decreased to m one equals 
22.9 display style m underscore 1 equals 22.9 and it was realized that the 1819 apparition coincided with an outburst. 289p, Blanpain reached naked eye brightness 5 to 8 mag in 1819, even though it is the comet with the smallest nucleus that has ever been physically characterized, and usually doesn't become brighter than 18 mag. For some comets that have been observed at heliocentric distances large enough to distinguish between light reflected from the coma, and light from the nucleus itself, an absolute magnitude analogous to that used for asteroids has has been calculated, allowing to estimate the sizes of their nuclei. <inaudible> Meteors For a meteor, the standard distance for measurement of magnitudes is at an altitude of 100 km miles at the observer's zenith. Topic. See also Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, relates absolute magnitude or luminosity versus spectral color or surface temperature. Jansky radio astronomers preferred unit, linear in power, unit area List of most luminous stars Photographic magnitude Surface brightness, the magnitude for extended objects Zero point photometry, the typical calibration point for star flux